from verse 1 to 11. Acts chapter 12, reading from verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Look at someone and say, Satan, Satan, proceed no further. Proceed no further. The Bible says, about that time, Herod stretched forth his hand and harassed some of the members in the church. The Bible makes it clear that it's not everyone, but some. He harassed some of the members and killed James with a sword. So the devil is after the church. The devil will always attack the church. He stretched forth his hand not to help. He stretched forth his hand not to support. He stretched forth his hand not to deliver. But he stretched forth his hand to harass some. And when he harassed them, he killed James with a sword. And when Herod saw that it pleases the Jews, he proceeded further and arrested Peter also. When Jesus was going to the Father, he gave power to the church. He gave power to the church. When Herod harassed some of the members of the church and arrested James and killed him with a sword, the church did not do anything. Because James was an apostle. He was a prayer apostle. So they thought that because he was prayer apostle, Herod would not do nothing to him. Sometimes your prayers alone is not enough. You need the prayers of the saints. You need the prayers of the church. You need the backings of the church. Are you putting your hands together for the Lord? That's why it's dangerous for you to tell someone that oh, I can stay in my room and pray. I don't have to go to church. When he killed James and he saw that it pleases the Jews. When he killed James and he saw that people were singing and dancing. When he killed James and he saw that people were having a party, then he said, oh, let me proceed further. Anytime that the enemy succeeds, it gives him power to proceed further. Anytime that the enemy is able to push his agenda, it gives him power to proceed further. I came to declare to you this morning, any mark of harassment, any mark of demonic attack, any mark of satanic attack against your life and your children, in the name of Jesus, I erase it right now. Amen. I erase it right now. Amen. Let that mark be erased now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare that you will not come under demonic harassment. Amen. I say you will not come under demonic harassment. Amen. You will not come under satanic harassment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Then the Bible says, when he killed James, it pleases the Jews. And he proceeded further. Arrested Peter also. <laughs> now it was during the days of the unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison. Peter was therefore kept in prison. <laughs> but constant prayer. But constant prayer. 
prayer. Look at someone say constant prayer. Constant prayer. Say constant prayer. Constant prayer. Peter was then kept in prison, but constant prayer. Uh -huh. Constant prayer was offered to God for him. Was offered to God for him. So, who are the people that prayed for him? By the church. By the church. By the church. By the reason why Peter survived. Because the church prayed for him. The reason why Peter escaped. Because the church prayed for him. It is very dangerous to walk alone. It is very dangerous if you disconnect yourself from the church. The reason why the same sword that Herod used to kill James was not able to kill Peter because the church prayed. The church constant prayer was offered for him by the church. Constant prayer was offered for him by the church. The backings of the church. When the enemy want to destroy you, the enemy will try to separate you from the church. The enemy want to succeed, he will try to separate you from the church. Because anytime that we gather, the angels that comes around, and the presence is different from you being in your room alone. Even those that are watching us on Facebook, the presence in this house, in this room, in this auditorium is different from those that are watching. So when the prayer, when the church came together and they said, we will not allow Peter to be killed like James, but we will intercede and pray. God answered them. Now read the scripture. And when Herod was about to bring him out, uh -huh. that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers. Bound with two chains between two soldiers. So the man is in prison, bound with two chains with two soldiers. The man was in prison. It means Herod has vowed to kill him. He wanted the Jews to sing more song to him. He wanted to please the Jews. So he said, I will kill you. And he put Peter in prison. And Peter was in two chains with two soldiers. Being in prison alone is not easy. But the man was in prison with two chains and two soldiers guiding him. Uh -huh. And the guards before the door were keeping the prison. There was God before the door and they were keeping the prison. Herod told them, make sure that this man doesn't escape. So even when you escape from the prison, you are in chains. When you are able to break the chains, the soldiers also, they are monitoring you. When you escape from there, the guards also, they are there. So things were tight. Things were very tight for Peter. But when the church prayed, I came to declare, it doesn't matter how things are tough. It doesn't matter how things are difficult. If we lift up our voice as a church and pray for you and your family, God will come through. God will rescue you. God will deliver you. If you believe it, shout, I believe. If you believe in shout, I believe. Amen. When the church come together and lift up prayers for your family, the God that delivered Peter will deliver you. The God that delivered Peter will deliver your children. The God that delivered Peter will deliver your family. If you believe shout, I believe. Amen. None of you will die in the name of Jesus. 
every mark of harassment, mark of disease, mark of infirmity. I came to erase it this morning and I declare that the Lord will preserve you. You're going out to be preserved. You're coming in to be preserved in the name of Jesus. The sun will not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The shepherd are in the house. They will lift up prayers for you. We will lift up prayers for your children. We will lift up prayers for your husband. We will lift up prayers for your wife. We will lift up prayers for your family. In the name of Jesus, we declare divine escape. 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 Now escape from the prison. Amen. Escape from every form of prison. Amen. Escape from demonic prison. Amen. Escape from satanic prison. Amen. Let your family escape Amen. any herald, every demonic herald that is attacking you, attacking your family. Let that herald be arrested. Amen. Let that herald be arrested. Amen. Let that herald be arrested. Amen. Let that herald be arrested. In Katalaba. E parado sanda da da ba e katimaro do sende branda sakata le mrande se katabaya ze malado se ke marada ze mrando se ke branto se kaba le branto se kaba da harassment demonic harassment demonic torment demonic torment satanic harassment but when the church pray when the church, when the church, when the church prayed, the man was in prison, but the church said, We will pray. The man was in chains, but the church said, We will pray. <laughs> Someone who said, You don't need prayer to break the chains. You don't need prayer to bring him out of the prison. Someone said, Oh, the, the, the guards are dead. The, the security is so tight. But let me tell you, what prayer can do it doesn't matter that they put you in the cave it doesn't matter the multitude of demons assigned against you it doesn't matter the legions of demons released against you and your destiny I came to declare that the church will be praying for you the church will continue to pray for you as the church prayed for you you will escape you will survive and you come back testifying you come back with testimony you come back with miracle you come back with your breakthrough if you believe it shout I believe, I believe. if you believe it shout I believe, I believe. but constant prayer was offered by the church continue now behold now behold an angel of the Lord stood by Peter when the church pray the prayer entered into heaven move an angel from heaven move an angel from heaven our prayers will move the angels of God our prayers will move the angel of God Amen. so Peter was then in prison sleeping you are in prison you are sleeping the reason why Peter was able to sleep in prison because the church was interceding for him the church was praying for him so the Bible didn't say Peter was thinking Peter was not able to sleep and the Bible said Peter was dead far asleep 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 <laughs> now behold now behold an angel of the Lord stood by him angel of the Lord stood by him and the light shone in the prison and the light shone in the prison and he struck Peter on the side and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up and raised him up saying saying arise quickly arise quickly and his chains fell off his hands and his chains fell off his hands let the chains break amen let that prison chains break amen let that demonic chains break amen do like this let the chains break let the 
let the chains break let the chains break let the chains break let the prison chains break let the chains of struggle break chains of harassment break chains of non achievement break chains of death break chains of evil sickness break chains of burden break amen So the strong chain that they use to lock his hands break. Uh-huh. Then the angel said to him, Then the angel said to him, Get yourself. Get yourself. And tie on your sandals. And tie on your sandals. So when he was in prison, his sandals was removed. On your sandals, uh-huh. and so he did, and so he did. And he said to him, and he said to him, put on your garment. Put so his sandals was removed. His garment also was removed. His sandals was removed, and his clothes also was removed. I pray in the name of Jesus any situation that the enemy use as a medium to remove your sandals and your dress I declare that you are going to wear back your sandals and Amen. your dress you are wearing your sandals and your dress Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. your favor that the enemy took I declare in Jesus name that that favor is coming back Amen. the miracles and testimonies that he took from your life I declare it's coming back Amen. the blessings that he took the blessings is coming back Amen. in the name of Jesus you are wearing your sandals you are wearing your clothes in the name of Jesus, your sandals is intact, your dress is intact, though you are in prison by anything that concerns your life is intact in the name of Jesus. Wear your sandals, wear your clothes because the time has come for you to leave the prison. Amen. You see, the angel, eh, the angel is very wise. The angel could have said, Oh, let's go, forget about this shoe, forget about it. He said, when I deliver you here and we leave your shoes here, you will come back. That's why some people, when, when they go to jail and they serve five years, they, come, they go back to jail. They come, they serve 20 years, they go back to jail. Some of them, they spend all their life in jail. Something will happen and it will take them back to jail because their sandals is still in jail. Their dress is still in jail. Something that is connected to their life is still in jail. And I decree that anything in jail that is connected to your life, we take it from that jail. In the name of Jesus, we take it out. 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 out. The angel said, if we leave your sandals here, you will come back. Something will bring you here. Something will bring you back. Because your sandals, they will use it as a point of contact. Anything that the enemy is using as a point of contact in a demonic prison, in satanic prison, let that point of contact be removed from that prison. You didn't hear me. Let it be removed from that prison. Amen. Let it be removed from that prison. Amen. Let it be removed from that prison. Amen. In the name of Jesus, your children will not go to jail. Amen. The angel said, I'm ending this cycle in your life. You won't go back. No, 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 no. No, affliction will not happen at the second time. Affliction will not come 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 at the second time. You may not like this sandals, but take it now. You may not like this garment because you say, oh, it's in prison. Take it now. If you don't take it, you'll come back. Anything that takes you back to your problems, to your shame, to your disgrace, in the name of Jesus. You didn't hear me this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let that thing be removed. Amen. Kabaha.
will retrieve anything that belongs to you in satanic prison. Continue. Put on your garment and follow me. Put on your garment and follow me. Uh -huh. So he went out and followed him. So he went out and followed him. And did not know that what was done by the angel was real. He, 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 he didn't know what was going on. You are in prison. An angel came and woke you up. You didn't know what was going on. He said, put on your garment. You wear your garment. Still, he didn't know what was going on. Put on your sandals. He didn't know what was going on. Then, but thought he was seeing a vision. He thought he was seeing a vision. <laughs> when they were past the first and the second guard post. When they passed the first and the second guard post. The post, they are so just there. But he escaped. Because Peter had angelic escort. I declare between now and the end of this year may the Lord give you angelic escort Amen. you didn't hear me I said may the Lord give you angelic escort Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. when God gives you angelic escort then you will escape from the prison then you will escape from danger then you will escape from troubles then you will escape from shame then you will escape from embarrassment then you will escape from death then you will escape from accident then you will escape from plane crash in the name of Jesus let God give you angelic escort Amen. may God give you angelic escort Amen. in the name of Jesus in the name Jesus. of Jesus Maledicatia the atmosphere has shifted now. It has shifted now. It has shifted now. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit. Someone is coming out. Someone is coming out. Someone is coming out. Someone is coming out. Hey, God is giving someone angelic escort. God is giving somebody angelic escort. Just open your mouth and bless God for the angelic escort. Thank you for the angelic escort. Thank Lord for the angelic escort lift up your voice bless God for the angelic escort bless God for the angelic escort thank God the Lord will give us angelic escort amen shout a better amen amen Shout a better amen. Amen. The Lord will give us angelic escort. Amen. The Lord will give us angelic escort. Amen. <laughs> they came to the iron gate. They escaped the first doorpost. Second doorpost. Where Peter was was very tight. It was very tight. Some of you, that's how your life has become. The enemy has placed you in the tight corner, and it's like your hands are tied. You are even tired. You don't know the prayers that you should pray again. You don't know the fasting that you should fast again. Peter was there in tight situation, very terrible situation. The man was in prison. In the prison, they put chains on his hands. Then two guys, soldiers were guiding him when the man escaped that he came to the first door post second door post then the iron gate Jesus Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice that the enemy has placed you in this situation may God Deliver you. Amen. I say, may God deliver you. Amen. May God deliver you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, anyone that is watching us online, that the enemy has placed you in this situation, may the Lord deliver you. Amen. May God deliver you. Amen. May God deliver you. Amen. May God deliver you. Talabosha, Semala Kataya. They come to the iron gates iron gate that is built by iron gate serious gate 
iron gate iron iron gate but God did something they came to the iron gate. They came to the iron gate. That leads to the city. That leads to the city. Which opened to them of its own accord. In the name of Jesus. Do you know why the gate opened by its own accord? Do you know why? Because of the angelic escorts. As you clap your hands, may the Lord give you angelic escort. As you clap your hands, may the Lord give you angelic escort. Somebody clap your hands and make a joyful noise unto the Lord that God will give you angelic escort. No matter how the situation is tight, you will still come out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out. You come out. You come out. Ha. So the iron gate was open by its own accord. No one touched it. Nobody touched it. It was locked. The security was tight. But because of the angelic escort. The security was too tight, but because of the angelic escort, the gate was open. Uh -huh. And they went out. And they went out. And went down one street. And went down one street. And immediately. And immediately. The angel departed from him. The angel finished his job. <laughs> the angel he has finished his job. I pray the angel will never leave you until he has finished his assignment in your life and your family. The angel of the Lord will never depart until he has finished his assignment. Amen. So when the angel left, Peter said something. And when Peter had come to himself, when Peter has come to himself, he said, he said, now I know. Ah, now I know. <laughs> now I know. Peter came to himself. He said, Now I know that. Uh -huh. Now I know for certain. Now I know for certain. That the Lord has sent his angel. That the Lord has sent his angel. Listen to the statement. Uh -huh. And has delivered me. And has delivered me. From the hand of Herod. From the hand of Herod. Uh -huh. And. and from the expectations from the expectations of the Jewish of, people of the Jewish people so someone is sitting somewhere expecting evil someone is waiting to hear something evil from your family that day will never come amen 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 someone is waiting to see you and your family crying on television that day will never come amen i say that day will never come amen you will escape you will escape your family will escape if you believe it shout i believe i believe Precious one, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Beloved, this is the head pastor of Blessed Generation Chapel International, Prophet Prince Ose. I'm giving you a special invitation to Blessed Generation Chapel. We meet on Fridays, every Friday, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And Sunday morning start from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Come with your friends, come with your family, and your life will never be the same. God bless you. Thank you.